And opening for the small cap index in terms of individual counters, many of them reacting well to their numbers. So first, Garvari Polyester, where the bottom line has seen a phenomenal jump to 51 crores versus 11 crores. Stock is holding up in the green again of about 6.5%. Shanti Gears, for this one, the sales has jumped from 24 crores to 36 crores, and the net profit stands at 6 crores versus 1.9 crores. Stock is up close to about 3.5%. Katari Spinning Mills, another one in the same league, the last time I checked, was up close to about 10 odd percent. The patch has nearly doubled, coming in at 1.2 crores versus 66 lakh. For Excel Industries, numbers look very robust. The profitability is 4.4 crores versus 1.6 crores. This one too is holding up smartly in the green again of about 8 odd percent. Royal Orchid is the third one where the consolidated net profit for Q3 stands at 4.4 crores versus 3 odd crores. And Compact Disc, the one which saw a 20% upper circuit on Friday, has started off in the green today as well. The board meeting, just to remind you, will be meeting on the 28th. They will be considering delisting of the shares. But that is back to Thanks, Seema, for that. That's small caps uh, for mid caps. Uh, well, you are seeing some movers like Hanung Toys, India Infoline, and uh, Chambal Fertilizers, which are not doing too badly. Some rea result reactions from names like Bharat Forge and Chambal Fertilizers. Uh, well Spun Corp is another stock you should keep an eye on, which just hasn't done too badly. LIC Housing Finance is soaking in the very heady gains of last week, so it's a bit volatile uh, today. It's probably run some 20% plus last week and therefore is giving up some of its gains. India Bulls Financial is another stock which is struggling a little bit. And generally metals are not very strong. So Hindalco and Sale both appear a bit subdued. As is Reliance Industries, which has flattened out post results. No great zing in that stock. So the Nifty just barely holding around that 5700 kind of level. Duh. That's the start for this Monday. But let's get back to Tarun Kotari of Religare. Uh, Tarun, the apprehension at the start of the year is because of the macro issues that we've been discussing and the point about flows that you spoke about. India might see some uh, minor valuation compression. Do you see a major derating happening this year? Uh, no, I don't see a, ma a massive derating happen. But as I say, there's a huge amount of concern. There's, a, there's generally concern also with what's happening in Europe. So I think there are so many issues that are uh, within the minds of fund managers around the world but i think we we'll, you know we go back to india the, the usual the demographic story the seven and a half eight percent uh, growth story i think that remains but i think in the in the near term there's just been huge sort of negative buzz about interest rates about infrastructure about governance and as i as i said at the start there is that pole that sort of sits over uh, sits over this uh, market this economy at the moment uh, the flip side of that, obviously, there's a lot of stuff that's happening in the U.S. Is the recovery real? Is it going to stick? What does it mean to liquidity? Uh, in Europe, obviously, you've got material concerns in Europe, including, I think, structurally what, you know, what the state of the euro uh, is. Uh, you saw the Irish government has uh, dissolved itself as of last night or this morning. So you can see that trying to find that balance between austerity and growth at a time when your economies are uh, highly levered and the electorate needs uh, to see spending, you've got a real problem. So people are distracted and with, you know, you need sort of any excuse to say, OK, let's just back off uh, the emerging markets for a little while. And I think that's what you're seeing at the moment. Your bear case for the market, though, Tarun, is an 18,000 sensex level. Uh, in the event of some kind of global shocker or an intensification of the macro worries, would you think this level would still hold for the market? See, I, I would like to think 18,000 is kind of you know where it is, unless you have a material shock like a credit crisis. But I think. Uh, regulators, governments have learned that actually you don't do what they did in 2008. Uh, you need to bail it out, uh, you know, moral hazard notwithstanding. Uh, if something does happen in Europe, and I think there's a high likelihood that, you know, you, what you saw in the U.S. can in fact happen in the U.S., but I don't think they will let it go to the, to the extreme let, as we saw in the U.S. So I think that black swan event that we saw in the U.S., I don't think you'll see that uh, in Europe, but you've got a problem in the Europe in that, as I say, austerity versus growth and perhaps doing the wrong macroeconomic adjustment, i.e. being too austere and not actually growing yourself out of it, may prove to be a bit of a problem. So those are one of the things we need to be mindful of and the impact of that on the Indian markets. Policy performance has not been very strong these past few months. Uh, how much weight are you putting on the budget in terms of an event for the market? 
Uh, not much, to be honest. I mean, there's enough sort of stuff that leads up to it. Uh, and let's be honest, you know, what's really happened in the last uh, five or six years? Not a lot. Uh, are they going to be bold uh, this time around? Unclear to me. So I don't really see uh, it being a material catalyst to the market, uh, from my perspective at least. Mm. Do you see politics as a risk for 2011 uh, for the Indian market, Tarun? I think it is. I mean, politics, you know, what aspect of politics? Is it governments? Is it governance? Is it uh, doing something? Is, you know, more states sort of falling away? Unclear to me. But yes, there is some level of pall, for the lack of a better word, on the market uh, created by politics, created by the absence of one thing too much of another. So yes, the answer is yes. Thanks, Karun, for your time today. Thanks for joining in today. But that's the really clear view on the market. They think we are, uh, we've are. we priced in much, many of the negatives, but may need to grind out for a bit longer, so might still turn out to be a challenging year. The day is quiet uh, so far. 50